when you were talking a minute ago about you know the butterflies and and you wanting your guys to play in front of the, those big crowds with that in mind do you i know every practice is important but do you maybe place a little bit more of an uh, a little bit more of an emphasis on what you see out of them with all of that going on as opposed to maybe a regular practice or even a regular scrimmage yeah i think it's a great evaluation i don't I think there's more reps that can happen in a practice that a kid's going to learn. Um, but there's no valuable lesson like busting a coverage or busting an assignment in that stadium and, and having to live with that. And I'd much rather it happen in that environment than a, uh, a game that we're playing an opponent other than ourselves. So I think it's, a, uh, it's all about how you approach it. If you, if you approach it loosey-goosey, so will your team. If you approach it like it's important and you want to see people compete, um, I'm a big believer in the more – the guy prepares himself to play his best, the better he'll be at playing his best. So we're going to approach it that way. You said in the past how, you know, last year's team, last year's team, this year's team, this year's team. What does it take for this year's team to sort of form its own identity? Is that something that has to come from within, or is it something that coaches try to lead them toward? Oh, no. It's both. I mean, it comes from within and the other. but. We don't have an identity yet. You know, I don't know what it's going to be right now. Uh, we didn't have an identity truly last year at this time. I mean, nobody was singing our praises this time last year. It was starting to take shape and form, but uh, we're certainly not where we need to be yet. We don't have uh, enough guys executing at a high level. And, uh, you know, I, I want guys to put in more time. I think sometimes um, you think that you're entitled to the success that happened previous to you being there. And, I know all, all too well that that's not the case. And it'll only happen if you make it happen and you earn it. And right now, we're not where we need to be. But the good news is we don't have to be. You know, we just got to be making progress. When do you know that y'all are, I mean, if, if, if the season ends and the next day is the new season, so to speak, how do you know that you're on the path to where you're supposed to be? You've had 14 practices. How do you, I mean, identity is one thing, but how do you know you're going the right direction? Yeah, I think the, the work habits of the team and the players, the direction of them, I mean, we've had ups and downs, we've had highs and lows, but every spring you have those. You know, it's not uh, it's not an isolated, I've never had a perfect spring. I've never had a spring that I came out of and was just overly pleased. Um, I think there's a lot of work to do in regard to getting to where we want to go. And um, we got some serious depth concerns, which I've brought up at several positions that we've got to address through either our team or uh, the guys coming in.